everyone, this is Visam from Gaza. Apparently, I'm still alive and I'm leaving my place. Merry Christmas, by the way. It's the 25th of December 2023. Uh, the world is celebrating and Bisan is evacuating. It's not the same. We're not the same, unfortunately. So they're dropping new leaflets from the sky now. Yeah, normally when they drop leaflets from the sky, they're trying to evacuate some place to threaten some people. So we will wait to find anyone we we'll got the paper, so we we'll see what's next. The place where I'm living now is the Nasser Medical Complex. I'm inside a hospital. The residential blocks around this hospital are warned to evacuate. They will be bombed. And that's the same scenario as the rest of the hospitals in the north of Gaza Strip, which were uh, besieged for days, then invaded. Massacres happened during the invasion. To be safe, I need to move as fast as I can to the south again, but now to any place in Rafah. I'm leaving my place for the seventh time since the beginning of this genocide. I really feel so helpless that I can't even go to my home and see see any anything that remains even durable as yani this is our fate welcome to gaza so the first people i really want to say goodbye for them are mahmoud jana rina and amir so these are my friends and We've shared like breakfast several times because their mother <laughs> makes beautiful, uh, very tasty managish. Managish is like a bread with some herbs, zaatar and oil, olive oil. So uh, these are the first people I want to say goodbye to them. So we're gonna find something sweet to eat. <laughs> So, I'm lucky that the friends here are making uh, the breakfast early in the morning. Um, by the way, the vegetables are not affordable always, so it's rare to, to find. It's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's rare uh, that uh, anyone can find uh, potatoes, for example. Uh, let's ask them. Um, these kind, cute children of the tents. <laughs> let's ask them about Rafah. Hey, you want to go to Rafah? I want to go to Rafah. I want to Inshallah, when we go to Rafah, we will go to Rafah. Inshallah. Inshallah. You are from where? From Gaza. طب كيف الامن والامان هاني يعني فيش مخوفك هان زي ما خوف الناس؟ اكيد الضرب والقصف كله قريب، كل القصف اللي بيصير الايام هذه في محيط ناصر، واحنا في محيط ناصر قاعدين في البنى تاع ناصر، كل الضرب في محيط ناصر. اكيد في خوف ورعب. القصف بهز الارض هز لما تصير الضربه، الضربه لما بتصير الدخلة قدام عينينا في كل الاماكن. ومع هيك بدكيش تخلي؟ لا بديش اخلي وين اطلع باولادي؟ أنا عندي ستة وين أطلع فيهم؟ بدنا نروح لأنه من اللي هون حيقسموا مستشفى ناصر. Here we go. So that's that's clear. If you did not evacuate, if you did not flee, you basically be near to this bombing. See this bombing? I'm now in the hospital. And the smoke is just uh, near uh, to the tents, and uh, the the sound of the bombing was really loud. So um, yes, it's terrifying how how you are. You have only the choice of of escape, of uh, fleeing, of just go to another place while there is no other places. So. Now I thank all the people who uh, told us that they are not going to flee, not going to evacuate. They are going to evacuate after this bombing. It's near to the hospital. It's very near to the hospital.
So, as you can see, the road between uh, Khan Yunis and Rafah is always crowded. People are going to the Mawasi area and the markets of Rafah to buy the essentials. But now it's crowded with vehicles, mattresses and their stuff because they are evacuating Khan Yunis to Rafah. So it's not safe, but people, despite this, are going there because they are afraid of the ground invasion. The ground invasion is terrifying for us because it means that we will be we will be saved uh, without uh, food and water. Uh, people will, will be arrested, either arrested or executed, and that's why we are we are running. Not because of bombing. We know that we are going to other places that are not safe but because of uh, uh, the ground invasion. So people are making the tents in the streets. Now because there's no places in hospitals in Rafah, there's no places, major hospitals in Rafah, and no places in the schools or even the relatives' homes. So now they're living in the mosques, despite it's not safe because the mosques are bombed yani, as a part of the infrastructure of uh, Gaza, so they are bombed and in the streets. Hopefully, we, we will all be safe until the ceasefire ends. I don't know if there is a, a, any word in English that describes this, but marmata. Marmata means that it's literally the hardest circumstances that we've been through since any a lifetime, maybe. So, yes. And I know there will be a lot of uh, challenges. I mean, the water, the food access, and the, the bathroom. Uh, there is no electricity either in the schools. So, yeah, I'll try and tell you what will happen with me. So, good morning. The first thing we do when we wake up is the putting on the fire because we want to make tea, um, make the breakfast, and the school is very crowded, so you can't sleep. The first kid will start crying at 4 a.m. Then the rest of the kids will start crying and playing, despite it's cold, by the way. People here are, are all waiting into lines for everything, for bathrooms for any aids that enter Gaza, even to buy anything because it's rare to find anyone any selling uh, food, uh, goods, any. so yes, waiting in lines is everything here. The bathrooms uh, are not clean and are not working actually inside the school, there is no uh, water, so they are not working. So we are, we are now going to a bathroom in a hospital near to uh, the school. Hello. 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 حياة صعبة صعب صعب إنه نوصفها صعب إنه نعيشها إحنا كفلسطينيين بس يا رب تنتهي هالغمة يعني أكثر من 85 يوم نازحين أكثر من 85 يوم شفنا الوين إلا عنا إنه عنا أمل نرجع على الشمال حتى لو بخيام بس على الأقل منعيد ترتيب حياتنا من أول وجديد <تصفيق> 